Okay, good morning, friends. So we discussed about uh, in the last class. So what is the uh, that is the expression for the current carrying the conductor is placed in the magnetic field. And uh, so the revolving of the electron to find out the magnetic uh, ma that is the magnetic moment. Okay, so M is equal to N I A etc. We discussed in the last class. Today. We discuss about uh, the topic uh, force on a current carry conductor in a magnetic field. Force uh, on a current carry conductor. Force on a current carry conductor in a magnetic field. So now we are considering the current carry conductor. So this is called as a current carry conductor. Current, ca current carry conductor is placed in the uniform magnetic field. So this is called the uniform magnetic field E. Oh, we got it. So now we are. So I Q. So the angle is straight T now. Okay. So that is the mag B and B D. Okay. So the current carrying is I. So now we are concerned the force on a current carrying conductor. So that this is called as a current carrying conductor. E is placed in the uniform magnetic field. E is placed in a uniform magnetic field. So now we are so the concerned the current carrying conductor I. So unit area of cross section is E. Okay, unit area of cross section E. And so the length is taken L. The length is taken L. And E is placed in the uniform magnetic field B as shown in this figure. Okay, got it. So I is the I is the means the current passing through a conductor, and A is means area, and L is the means length. And so B is called as a uniform magnetic field. The wire, the conducting wire, is the place in the uniform magnetic field. Okay. So I have shown this figure. Got it. Right. Now, so the current is passing through the along the x direction. And but so the magnetic field, so magnetic strength in a x y plane, making angle theta with the current with the flowing of the current. Direction of the current. Okay, so making angle theta with the direction of the current in a conductor. Okay, got it. So some force, some external force is acting on a conductor because so the wire is placed in a uniform magnetic field. The wire is placed in the uniform magnetic field. So the that is necessary. The force is applied on a uh, wire. Okay, that is. Okay, got it. So that is called as a F dash is equal to F dash is equal to some force acting on a conductor. So that is called as a Q V D B sine theta is taken. Okay. So the force acting on a conductor is placed in a uniform magnetic field. So F dash is equal Q V D B sine theta. So Q is means charge. V D is means drift velocity. What is the drift velocity? So the wire, the conducting wire, is placed in the uniform magnetic field. So the electrons or the charged particles are moving with the average velocity. With the average velocity. So the velocity is called as a drift velocity. It is denoted by the V D. Okay. Now here take it. So the force is acting Q V D B sine. But here they take it. So the number of the charged particles are including in a conductor. Okay. So that is called as a small n is the number of the vibrating particles, number of the charged particles in a in volume, unit volume is taken n by v. So n is equal n into v. So n is equal so the number of the charged particles. So the number of the charged Oh, charge particles are the electrons per unit length L. L. So N into V. So N into V. V is means volume. So what is the volume? Area into length is called as a volume. Area into length is called as a volume. Okay. So now 
the total force or net force or resultant force is acting on a conductor okay on acting on a conductor resultant force is acting on a conductor number of the charged particles okay so number of the charges so that is f, f is equal f dash into n we can write so f dash f dash is equal already we know that so q v d b sin theta into okay so that is called n into a into l we can write okay got it so that is called as a b into l into sin theta we can write psi so remaining of inside of the bracket so q uh, v d and uh, a okay so that is called as a q v d and uh, n is taken also yeah so this is called as a current q v d a is called as a current i is equal q uh, v d n a n a is called as a current that is called as a current okay so now substituting this is called as current i b a sin theta okay so this is called as a f the net force is acting on a conductor so the net force is acting on a conductor so i b a sin theta okay so if in case of the theta is equal to 90 degrees so sin 90 is equal to 1 so that force will be maximum if in case of the theta is equal to 0 so the sin 0 0 so something total 0 the force is 0 okay that is called as a minimum force is applied on a conductor you got it so now we are conductor so the carrying the conductor is i current carrying a conductor i is a placed in a uniform magnetic field uniform magnetic field this is called as a uniform magnetic field place so some force will be applied on a Of, of, on a conducting wire, so the force is taken. It is called I B L sine theta. Okay. So here, what is the what is the mean? That means the wire, the current carrying wire, is placed in the uniform magnetic field. Some force will be applied. So the force F is equal B I L sine theta. B1 due to I 
first step. Okay. So now here the two conductors are parallel conductors are having the same length and carrying the current I1 and I2 separated by a small distance that is R as shown in this figure. Okay, got it. So now consider the two parallel conductors. Two parallel conductors having the same length and so the current carrying that is the I1 and I2. Okay, so the separated by a distance that is the small r as shown in this figure. Got it. And so now here the magnetic field is developed around it. Okay, magnetic field because the current is passing, so the magnetic field strength or magnetic field developed around the first first conductor and also the magnetic field is developed around it and a second second conductor. Okay, so that is the B1 and B2. Okay, I1 and I2 are the current start passing through the conductor. And R be the distance between the two parallel conductors. And B1 is the magnetic field strength and B2 is called as a magnetic field strength of the first conductor and second conductor. Okay, got it. Now, so to find out the force between the two parallel conductors. Okay, force between the two parallel conductors. Now first of all, he is taken this is the called as the first conductor. Or the first conductor, the force is acting on a second conductor. Okay, so the force is acting on a second conductor. So that is called as a, we have taken, so this is called as A and B and C and D. So this is called as the AB is called as a first conductor and CD is called as a second conductor is taken constant. Okay. So the force is acting on the second conductor. Acting on a second conductor due to the first due to the first conductor A. B. Okay, that is called as a C. B is the second conductor. The force acting on a C. D. conductor due to the first A. B. conductor. So that is called as a F. C. D. is equal. F. C. D. is equal. So now we can general equation. Now taken. So before uh, case or before uh, topic that is called as a. So the wire is a place in the uniform magnetic field. So the some force is acting on. Here also. So this is called as a the current current carrying connector. So then around the around the so magnetic field only the develop only. Then your magnetic field low or distance is wide. Okay, got it. So for example, so this line, so this is called as a Y. So the magnetic field is developed. Okay, magnetic field is developed around the the Y. So now take a so another Y is a place to at the R distance. Okay. So some force is acting on the Y. Got it. Now the that that is means we have taken. So this is called as a conductor. So that is called as a current carrying conductor I1. Okay. So this uh, developed the total magnetic field. The total magnetic field is uh, developed around it. Okay, so in in magnetic field, all distance taken another current carrying point. So some force will be applied on a point. Okay, so that is a C B is equal. So general equation we can write B I L sine theta. Here sine theta is equal 90 degrees. 90 degrees is taken. So sine 90 is equal to one. Okay, so we have taken B I L. Okay. So that is means sir, here the current carrying on a secondary I2. I2 is right. So due to the B1 and so L is called as a constant. That is called as a having the same lens. Having the same lens L. Having the same length. So here I2 B1 L. But B1 already we know that. So the B1 means so, so this is called as a conductor, the current carrying conductor. Okay. So the magnetic field or magnetic strength 
developed around uh, on a circuit is taken to find out the uh, before last class so that is called as a b is equal mu naught i by 2 pi r b naught i by 2 pi r e here also like that so this is called as a conductor so the current pairing conductor so just like okay that is called as a, the current current connector so the magnetic field is developed around it so the magnetic field on a closed loop is equal b is equal mu naught i by 2 pi r but we have taken so that is called as a b is equal or b1 is equal to mu naught i 1 by 2 pi r is taken okay got it so now we are substituting in the equation we get so mu naught I1, I2, L yeah, by 2 pi r. So this is called as a force acting on a CD. Okay, force acting on a CD. So mu naught I1, I2 into L by 2 pi r. Okay, got it. So now here, what is the force acting on a conductor CD? Okay, force and acting on a conductor CD. So the before case. So this is called a uh, before case number like oh, eight information or okay, eight uniform field it should uniform uniform magnetic field low of current carrying out of the wire to channel. So then by the punishment force F is equal to B I L sin theta A find this. B I L sin theta. Now we are also like that. So this is called as a current carrying connector. So then to take the magnetic field developed. E magnetic field low or distance low. ఒకటిస్తున్నాయి అప్పుడు ఈ మధ్యలో పని చేసేటువంటి ఫోర్స్ ఎంత సో దట్ మీన్స్ హౌ మచ్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫోర్స్ యాక్టింగ్ బిట్వీన్ ద టూ ప్యారల్ కండక్టర్స్ హ్యాంగ్ ద సేమ్ లెంత్ అండ్ ద డిస్టెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ ద టూ ప్యారల్ కండక్టర్స్ ఆర్ ఈస్ టేకింగ్ ఓకే గుడ్ ఇట్ సో నో హియర్ so the force acting on a second conductor due to a first ab ab conductor on a cd due to ab so we can write the f cd is equal b i l sin it is the general equation before course that is called as uniform field that is a uh, uniform magnetic field the current carrying conductor is a place so the force is acting f is equal b i l sin theta but here the second the sin theta is having the two conductors are perpendicular the length of uh, that is the r and uh, so magnetic induction is perpendicular that means the r is equal to 90 degrees the theta is equal to 90 degrees so sin theta is equal to 1 now so f c d is equal to b i l so i i is the current passing through the second conductor i2 and l is the same and b so what is the b b is called as the b1 due to the magnetic induction b1 due to the magnetic induction b1 okay so the magnetic induction b1 so the b1 is nothing but we are taking this is called as the conductor so that is called as uniform the total uh, uniform area and that is called as a the circle is formed okay so that is called as b is equal mu naught i by 2 pi r already so find out in your last class so this is called as the current carrying conductor so the you know, r distance is taken so the current uh, the magnetic induction so db is find out in so b is equal mu naught i by 2 pi r now substituting the equation we get so f c d is equal mu naught i1 i2 into l by 2 pi r we get okay now similarly here observe the force is acting acting on first step. that is called as a a b conductor A, B, and enter due to 
due to AB conductor due to CD due to CD conductor okay now so here F A B is equal to we can write general equation B I L sin theta here also theta is equal to 90 degrees so sin 90 is equal to 1 okay so remaining equation we can write F A B is equal to B I L okay so F A B is equal to so B, 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 I, I is nothing but the current is passing to the first conductor I1 and L is right. So B is called as a B2 we can write. So due to the magnetic detection B2. Okay. So because here, so this is called as current connector. So the magnetic induction developed B2, distance R, so another coil is in place. So the magnetic induction effect is on a first coil, first coil. Okay, F A B is equal B2 I1 L. But B2 is equal, we can write B2 is equal. So mu naught I one I I one I one So mu naught I I two two pi r is taken. So B2 is equal. So then should to the part current is the current is I two I two is right. So mu naught general equation you can write mu naught I by two pi r. So mu naught I2 by 2 pi r and substituting in the equation so we get the final equation okay so that is called as a F A B is equal F A B is equal so P2 B2 is equal so mu naught I1 I2 L by 2 pi r is taken okay so B to B to is equal mu naught I to I one L two pi r. So that is called as a F series. Now in these two cases are observed. So one first of all coil is the place So the coil, the current carrying coil is I one. The magnetic field is developed around it. So now another coil is taken. The another conductor is taken is placed in the taken distance or edge of the induction. Okay. So this is called the first topic. Now another topic is taken, so this is called as a current carrying conductor, so magnetic field is developed, so the first conductor is placed at the edge of induction, so the taken the distance R. So the force is acting between them, okay, so the force acting between them, F A B is equal, F C D is equal, F A B is equal, F C D is equal, these are two equations are equal. Now we have observed these two equations, that is called as a mu naught I1 I2 L by 2 pi R is taken. Mu naught I1 I2 into L by 2 pi R. Okay, this is called as a the force acting. That is that is the equal force. Okay, the equal force is acting on the conductors. So, but here to find out the for grid length. So, what is the grid length? Uh, so, the L is taken outside. Go to outside. So, we can write. F2 by L. So this is called as a force acting for unit length. Force acting for unit length. So F by L is equal mu naught I1 I2 by 2 pi R is taken. So this is called as a force acting for unit length. Force acting for unit length to parallel conductors is taken so f by l is equal to mu naught i1 i2 by 2 pi r
here the current of 10 amps passes through a two very long wires current of 10 amps passes through two very long wires held parallel to each other and separated by a distance of 1 meter and what is the force for unit length of between them okay so we have to answer the conductors these are two separated conductors and parallel conductors and separated by distance r is equal to 1 meter okay r is equal to 1 meter and the current passing through the conductor so i i1 is equal to 10 amps okay and i2 is equal to 10 amperes current is passing through the long parallel conductors okay so what is the force acting between the between for unit length of the conductors Okay, so given information, given I1 is equal to I2 is equal to 10 amperes current is possible. And also the length is taken R is equal to 1 meter. Okay, so the force for unit length for unit length is equal to F by L is equal to mu naught i1 i2 by 2 pi r okay f by l is means force for unit length so f by l is equal to mu naught 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 okay into i1 i1 is equal to 1 and 1 and 2 pi r 2 pi r r is equal to 1 R is equal to 1. So I1, I2 is nothing but 10 into 10 amps. So distance is taken 1. So here 2, 2, 5, 5 cancel. Okay. So remaining question F2 by L is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of minus 7 into 100. That is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of minus 5. Two, dig two digits are left. Okay. So F2 by L. Newton for okay length meters okay this is called as a unit for the force for unit length 